Back like we never left BDA and some shit went down last week with Grade A on the Ray and um, Tyrone Magnus. I've heard both sides and I've analyzed it as much as I could. That means I didn't analyze it that much. I just, you know, saw what it was and just gonna make my assessment based on what I was provided from both sides. I'm a Tyrone Magnus guy. Uh, I like the guy, I'm a fan of his. And it was interesting when this happened because you know, I have I have a certain feeling about live reactors and you know, it's not that much effort, but it is some effort. And I feel like some people are really good at reacting to things. So the only th issue I ever had with live reactors are when they got a copyright strike or when they received a copyright strike, they always felt like the world was against them when, you know, it's it's pretty clear that you're using someone else's content and this will happen. This it's, it's, it's just going to happen. I respect live reactors when they, they say, you know, I got a copyright strike. It is what it is. I get those. I expect them. Let's move on. I respect those guys a lot. Um, I, you know, it's one of those things, man, where, okay, you know, it's not about live reactors, but grade A under A, he absolutely despises live reactors, but he even states that he does not despise all live reactors reactors and okay so from what i've heard or from what i've from the videos from tyrone magnus and grade a under a grade a under a says that well first it was um grade a under a was talking shit on twitter tyrone magnus heard of it he made a video grade a under a said everything will be exposed in the video now i'm gonna give my thoughts and listen man it's it's not i don't think it should have gotten this far but then i think that it should have gotten this far or it had to ha it had to get this far that's confusing as hell but i'll explain tyron magnus reacted to a grade a under a video um where he's talking stuff about live reactors jinx cj too cool i believe i saw that video it's pretty funny but um grade a under a he i guess he told akasan He's another live reactor, and um, this was uh, apparently months ago, and then Akasan told Tyrone about it, and Tyrone was thinking about it, but he still had the video up, and eventually he deleted the video. Now, Grade A Under A says that Tyrone deleted the video after he put a claim in on it so that he could make money off the video, but Tyrone had already profited off said video, and then he deleted it after it got claimed. Um... That part I get. Like, if I claim a video and then all of a sudden you delete it, that's that's not really cool. But Tyrone said that's not what happened. Tyrone says that he deleted the video after mulling it over, and you know he thought about it. He's like, you know what, this is not worth the trouble. I'm just gonna delete it. Now, Grade A says that doesn't make sense because you got that. Um, you got uh, Akasan told you about it months ago, and you're just deleting the video. Um, literally days after I claimed a video that Tyrone response Tyrone's response to that was I Don't read those emails. I get as far as content ID claims as a live reactor. I get a lot of those emails That's not something I pay attention to. I didn't read it. I had no idea. That's what it was Both valid sides I'm leaning towards a grade A here because from, from from his perspective, it looks like you just did a dick move and you just deleted the video because he's not making money off it. And I get that. Now, this could have been resolved by con through conversation. And Tyrone showed DMs, grade A showed DMs, and it's just this whole big thing. But the thing here is that I, while I understand what great where grade A was coming from, I understand this was a perfect opportunity to make a video. And the fact that Tyrone did this, yeah, you could hash it out on Twitter, but that's not as interesting. It, that's not nearly as interesting as what what the hell went down between these guys. I know Grade A did a live stream. People asked him questions about it. He's like, yo, I'm, I'm going to tell you in the video. I'm going to tell you in the video. And that video did live up to the hype. I mean, he, he broke everything down. Then he's pulling out some straws, but you reach for straws, whatever. But it was just... It was a good video and Tyrone, you know, he came back and he didn't even, he didn't even start a video because, you know, more than likely Grady would have claimed put on a copyright, whatever. But it's, 
who side I'm on. I'm. It, it's hard to say what side I'm on because both guys have valid points. I'd say grade A could have. It could have been you know resolved sooner or okay. The thing is. Because Tyrone deleted the video, Gray felt that there's no way he could have resolved it because you already deleted the video that was that I should have been making money off of unless you re-upload or do another reaction or re-upload your reaction and then I put a claim on it. But at that point, the thrill is gone. People have already seen the video. So I guess this couldn't have been avoided. I mean, it's just a miscommunication. And um, I think Gray Day's disdain for live reactors kind of drove it. He even said, Tyrone, I don't hate you as a person. But I, I think your channel is shit because you do a lot of live reactions to Tyrone's defense. He said that I don't just do live reactions. I do, you know, Magnus answers. I do worldwide worldwide news. And, you know, I do the gameplays, you know, the wrestling stuff. And, but then great is like your channel would be shit without live reactions. Eh. You know, it's unfortunate seeing these two guys go at it. But, hey, man, it was entertaining. It was entertaining. But, you know, it's unfortunate. Tyrone lost, like, 3,000 subs right after, like, overnight. And ugh, that's that's rough. That's really rough. But all in all, I think these two guys are going to be okay. Um, live reactors are really under attack right now because, you know, they grow really fast. Because, you know, people go to their channel to watch these videos. Tyrone's defense was that, you know, people don't come to my channel to watch the videos before they watch the actual video. Um, I would say this. For me, I don't go looking for videos to watch. So if Tyrone Magnus uploads a video and if it's something I'm interested in, I'm just going to watch his video. I'm just going to watch it. I'm not going to click on the original video and then go back to watch his reaction. Now, I think it's kind of 50-50 or 60-40, where 40% 40 of people probably just watch the videos on his channel because they know he's going to stay up to date. And then 60% make, you know, make recommendations after they've watched it. Or probably 70%. 70% of people make recommendations. 30% actually just sub to him because he's going to stay up to date. He's going to react to some interesting things. Then I'm going to just watch it there. So both valid sides. And I don't know. Live reactors are on the attack. They, I don't know. I don't know. It's 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 scary. For live, if, you're, if you're a live reactor, I know you're probably shitting your pants because PewDiePie mentioned you. You know, a great day under Ray has mentioned you. I think I hate, I hate everything has mentioned. A lot of the huge YouTubers are sick and tired of live reactors because they feel like, you know, they put hours and hours, hours upon hours of editing into these videos and then they just get shitted on by a live reactor that uploads the whole video to their channel. No cuts, just the whole video, maybe some, you know, commentary, but I can understand that. You know, I, I have some videos that I took, it took a long time for me to work on it. And if someone, you know, took my video and they did a live reaction to it, then they got more views than my actual video. Bruh, I'd be mad. <laughs> I'd be like, yo, do you understand how long that video took to edit? And now you're just going to do a live reaction because you did a live reaction, you got more views. <sighs> that would suck. So I get it. But interesting stuff. Let me know what you thought about this. Who, who you got? Tyrone Magnus or Grady Under A, who do you believe? Listen, I'm just a, hey, I'm just presenting the facts, how I interpreted them. I just want to know what you think. So yeah, like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. That would be dope. Have a good day, people.